A moment with Jeff Schmidt. Hello, I'm talking with one of the most sought after musical engineers of this decade. If you don't know of him, you must be from either under a rock, somewhere, or just a complete shut in without a television or means to the internet. Of course, it's Mr. Michael Jeff Schmidt. Thank you for being here, sir. Thank you for having me. Now, I have a couple questions for you, of course, since this is an interview. Uh, first off, easy questions that mostly everybody says. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Denver, Colorado. Uh, are there any experiences in this town of uh, Denver, Colorado that you uh, would like to share with us? Well, one thing that comes to my mind is my mom always told me I was a snow baby because I was born in September. The day before I was born it was 70 degrees and the day I was born it snowed three feet. And I was raised on skis, and I raced in college and high school and all that, so. Were you born with the skis on your feet? I'd like to think so. Sweet. But that must have hurt my mom if I was, so probably not. Now your parents, what were their names? My mom's name is Anne, and my dad is Albert. We call him Bert. How long have you been playing music, or have you been interested in it since you were very young? Yeah, actually, when I was a little boy, my older sister was a model at a hair show. And they had a live band, and I had to go watch her get her hair cut on stage, and it was uh, really boring. And I was sitting there looking at the stage, and I noticed that the drummer was making all these sounds with his, with his hands, and there were other sounds coming out that I couldn't tell where they were coming from. So I just basically ran up onto the stage without anybody's permission in the middle of the show <laughs> and then started staring at the drummer's feet to see what the heck was going on. And I noticed that he had these pedals, and his feet were like, ding, 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 and I just couldn't believe it, so I just stood there in awe. And that drummer came over to me and asked me what my name was and sat me down on the stool and showed me how all the pedals worked. And uh, the next day I had a practice pad and a pair of sticks and I was playing professionally by the time I was 12. I was lucky enough to have parents that believed in it enough to give me a private instructor when I was little. So I had a drum teacher that I went to see every week who was amazing. He was one of the greatest drummers in Portland, Oregon, where I lived at the time. And he actually got me working, reading Broadway musical charts, and, and I, was, uh, I joined the music union and was getting paid. Uh, I, my first pro gig was Annie Get Your Gun, the musical, and opening night was September 15th, 1978, my 13th birthday. Same day I got braces. After that, what, what, what jobs have you had that have dealt with music? Well, I found out that the high school music experience was really lame. I didn't like the school programs I was involved in. I had, they had bad teachers. and. One of the things that that led, in my mind, was uh, a desire to be a teacher, which is sort of what led me here to, to this job. But it, it allowed me to um, drop out of the school programs and find a musical uh, satisfaction elsewhere. So I continued working professionally all through junior high and high school, and I had bands I was in that, that run, won some minor or little awards here and there on radio stations in Portland and stuff. But I basically was kind of a loner musician at that point. Even people that went to my high school didn't even know I was a musician because I didn't play in the school bands, and if they weren't a close friend of mine, they wouldn't have known because I didn't flaunt it around a lot. So it was kind of a secret that I was out making money playing music on the side. And then I got a scholarship to go to college. They needed a drummer so bad that I got put back into the school programs at that point. And we got a, a jazz drum degree performance major and a K-12 through instrumental and choral education degree in music. So you got into college being a drummer? Yeah, and that's what got me. I went to a really nice private school in Washington State. Uh, one that I would never have been able to afford had they not given me a scholarship to play in their jazz band. 